announcing this morning a 9 p.m. curfew beginning tonight. 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. Everybody needs to be off the streets. You need to be at home. Uh, this is certainly an inconvenience for all of our residents. I apologize for that because the actions of a few, the actions of probably a few hundred individuals, some of whom may not even be from our community, are causing this curfew. A curfew now in effect for the city of St. Louis after a day of peaceful protests turned into a violent night. Four St. Louis police officers shot downtown and one retired St. Louis City Police captain killed while defending a business in North City. City police telling us this morning they arrested 25 suspects overnight during the riots while 55 businesses and counting were damaged or looted. And today, the St. Louis Galleria has closed under fears of more protests today. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for News 4 at Noon. I'm Claire Kellett. It was just a short time ago, St. Louis's mayor, chief of police, and public safety director all address the violence that we have seen in St. Louis over the past 16 hours. News 4's Lauren Traeger joins us live from outside police headquarters downtown. And Lauren, you were at that press conference. They addressed so many things this morning. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Claire. And it's important to know that the top brass, the leaders of the city, standing together as a united front, saying what happened last night and into this morning, that was not protest. Those folks were rioters, and they are going to utilize that curfew. As you heard the mayor mention, they're also going to bring the full weight of the National Guard, the FBI, county SWAT, the Highway Patrol, a number of resources, because they are worried that what happened could happen again potentially tonight. I want you to take a look at some of the video from overnight. Of course, we know that there were a number of buildings that were looted and damaged this the 7-Eleven in the city. As you mentioned, 55 buildings total damaged or burglarized. We also learned that six total buildings, about a half a dozen or so, were set on fire. A number of other dumpster fires and car fires as well. Of course, we do know that four officers were shot last night. Thankfully, we did learn today that they have been released from the hospital, so they are okay. We do know, though, tragically of one murder, a retired police captain, David Dorn. You're going to hear about him a little bit more in just a few minutes. But in total, officials said that officers were actually fired on six or seven times throughout the incident. So I asked, who exactly are the people that were doing this harm to the city? And officials here said that they do think that it was somewhat of a coordinated effort. They said there were about a core group of 200 people that were doing primarily the damage. In fact, they said there was about 40 to 50 cars that were just snaking around the city, and then large groups of people would get out and, and do the damage. Public Safety Director Jimmy Edwards, very strong language from him today, saying that he is vowing that justice will be done. Take a listen to what he had to say. To the criminals that inflicted crime on our city last night, we have your surveillance pictures, and I will use every tool available to me to count every freckle on your face until you have been identified and arrested. Now, as you mentioned, there were 25 arrests. Uh, we are working to learn some more information about who those people are, what their backgrounds are, where they are from, and whether or not they will, in fact, be charged, and if so, what charges they could be facing. But just to give you a sense of how things were going last night, we did learn today that some individuals had actually loaded gasoline into water guns and was fire way they were firing that at police officers and then throwing fireworks at them in an attempt to set them on fire. The police chief saying he's never seen anything like this in his entire law enforcement career, saying they were caught off guard by how long it took to get everything under control. So certainly a lot more to follow today, Claire, and you can count mm -hmm. on us to continue doing that. Reporting live at the police department, Lauren Traeger, News 4. Updates all after